Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Code Prime. In this video, we are going to learn this complete CSS link property. And this CSS link property, we have this two property, four property totally. There is first one is link, and the second one is visited, and third one is over, and fourth one is that is active. So we are going to explain these three four property and how we can use it and how its effect on your website and whatever we are using this property. So we are going to explain this everything. So let's get start this video right now. Here you can say I have opened my VS Code student. There you can say I have added some basic HTML code. And for this body section, I have added some CSS for this. I added a linear background color and center a div for this formal basic CSS. You can see on the live preview on our browser, there you can see a linear gradient color. And there is a center a div. We have actually that whatever we write inside of this. This all item will be goes to the center. So that's you can see the center div for using flex. Also use the flex direction column so that whatever we write. So this all will be in column by column and it will be in align all, all of this item into the center so now let's go to the body section and here i'm just going to add anchor tag now i'm just adding a hashtag and now here i'm just going to add some text about it so i'm writing this code prime and there is one now just copying this line so i'm pasting this three time so now if we save this file you can see this preview like this now we need to write some css for this anchor tag so let's copy the anchor tag here and write it now let's write some css for it so first of all we're going to writing that is padding that is i'm going to make it 10 pixel and 20 pixel then writing here a background okay here writing a background that is hashtag ff so i'm writing a background plain background it is white color so now after writing this plan background and save this file you can see it is looking like this now we are going to set some margins so that we can see that all item goes to a little bit of a space of each other so i'm adding is 10 pixel and 0 and save this file now we can see we have separated now there is we are going to line this then underline so we are going to remove this text decoration it is none and save this file Okay, here I'm writing this text align, it will be text decoration. Now save this and you can see it was totally removed from here. Now let me set some font size for it. Here I'm writing this to rem and save this. Now you can see it was looking like this. So this is basically we have made this basic of this folding property. This is our by default link. There is I haven't any added any color for font and anything else. So now we are going to first applying this. So for we are going to for if we apply this for one of this property, then everything will be work for one. So for that we are going to add a class name here for a specific of them. So here I'm using that btn one. So I need to copy this total. Let's copy it from here. Now after this presses, so I'm just taking them. And this in two line and just paste it now this that changes value from here it is two and it is three so we have sent this value from here now save this file now there is nothing affected because we haven't applied anything yet now now copy this class name between one so first of all we are going to apply for this okay let's take first of all for this is simple that is a hover for this anchor tag is total of this now let's save it and this anchor tag and pseudo class that is hover and take this so let me make some spaces here so that we can easily understand so this is we don't going to anything to it inside of this below the body so we're going to apply in here so let's add a first of all background so it will be saying the background and it is red and i'm going to writing that important property so that is will be work for this whatever we do some other linking property it will work for this all of this property here and there's a color that is let's type a color and it is ff so it will be white color now save this file and when we're going to hover one it you can see that hover was working perfectly background will be red and the color will be text color will be white so this is first we have made this all of this universal for this hover selector there is we haven't any added any other class for hover it will be universally and to work for this all of this button whatever we have added this now we need to copy this the button we have added exceptional classes here so now here i'm just going to add it so taking some spaces and here i'm adding it 
okay we need to add a dot because it's a class now adding here it is a link so for this link if it a link here so then we're going to write in some especially we're going to adding some a background color so first let's add a background color it is i'm going to add this blue and it will be important and color will be white color is white and save this file and you can see okay here it's one if now save this you can see when it is linked so it is working like this and whenever we hover one in this all is working like this way so this way you can set it that actually the link when it is the link will be always in this background color of the screen of the blue color and this white will be text so this is for the link and whenever we use the btn1 this whenever we are using this text btn1 so this all item will be in background colors for example if we made this instead of 3 1 and save this file you can see the 3 1 this third number of this button and it was going to background blue now set this as previous as it was so now we're going to take in this btn2 now let's take it and here we're going to add this whenever we visited one it so we can simply copy this line of css and paste it now changing that value it is 2 and here it will be visited so now save this file now here we are going to make it the background when we are visiting some button it will be background set now save this so there is we have added for this button 2 so here is the button 2 now click on to this button now if we reload this page there you can see it was not removing because this is total of this button 2 is working for the visited that is we have added this color is red because we have already visited this button to this code plan within one it was visited so it will be not change the color because the visited whenever a button is visited so it will be a red color and it will be for forever whenever until we remove our browser cache memory till then it will be this it's it's even like this so for example if i remove that history so let me remove it and here just remove reload it okay just reload this one also now make it an open live server so it was working like this way okay now here we're working this another one that is active property so we are going to take in this class name that is btn3 now let's take it and here we we'll just copy and paste it now here we are just changing the value that is btn3 and then here removing the basics this value will be active so it means when we are dragging on some button on whenever we have this active this visiting so then it will be change that color so here i'm writing that color is yellow and the color will be 00, zero it is black now save this file so we have made this for this number of three button so this one so this is working for this hover now when it is active so when we are clicking on this button so this button is active and you can see this active is background is yellow color and the color font is text color is black so this is active so whenever we are moving on it so this one when the button is active so it will be totally up like this so this way you can use all of your css link property you can make them identifically and you can make them specifically color background and stylus and much more so you can do this simply using the css link property of this four property this one is link over visited and active so this is four property you can use it and if you need any help to, about this doing this practice about it so you can give me on the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video please like on it and share it with your friends and if you want to get more tutorial and most more thing about it you want to know about this programming language and much more thing if you want to know you can give subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you will never miss any updated promos